Hey guys, and welcome back. My name is Drake Chronic, and we're back on uh, Modest Survival World. Um, wow, that is very loud. Holy cow. Um, there we go. Let's turn to 16. Okay, so, um, I did a little bit, um, off camera. What I did was, if you remember that big tree that was up here on this mountain, well, not this mountain, but this, like, island didn't do anything to that island but this one there's a big tree right here um yeah I just took it down and wow it was really really huge look how much wood it gave me it's 64 and 6 oh, 70 that's just crazy it's like a jungle tree but it was oak and um, I took down the roof of our boat and stuff and built it outwards a little bit because I had an idea and that idea is what we're going to do is we're not going to have this base, so I'm going to take out this base. I'm going to just probably leave these torches here just so mobs don't spawn. And our base is actually going to be on our ship. That's going to be our base. As long as we stay in the ocean, our base is on our ship. But once we hit land, we're going to have to make a new base somewhere on land. So, um, yeah, that's the idea I came up with. So what I did was I moved everything out of the base right here onto the, the boat, made it a little bigger. And, um, yeah, I think that's what we're going to be doing this episode. We're going to be building it, but first I'd like to show you guys a uh, another world save where I tested out to see just how big you can make the ships. Uh, you, can, you can make them up to a couple, couple like, a thousand blocks or something, so uh, it's pretty big. But I'm going to show you that, guys that world because it has a, um, has a ship that I built that's pretty cool, um, and I'd like to put it in... Uh, I'd like to make it in my survival, but it's uh, it's a lot of resources, so I think what we're going to do is we're going to build this up a little bit, um, and then we're just going to just add on to it as we need, and it's going to be just our like floating fortress, basically. So, um, yeah, let's, let's cut to that video. Um, we'll be back in a second. Okay, guys, I'm back. Uh, um, this is the boat that I built. It's pretty cool. Um, it was just in creative, as you can see. Um, I kind of don't like the look of it on the outside, except for that part up there. I, I like that that part, but but it does look kind of uh, kind of good. It floats at a good distance. Um, it's pretty nice. It has everything you need in it. it has enchantment tables, potion racks, chests, and it even has little little uh, little glass windows so you can see through. Pretty cool. So I'm gonna show you around inside of it. Uh, tell me what you think of it. Uh, in the comments, you think we should build this in our modded survival, or if you have any other ideas for uh, sh the ship to build, um, leave that in the comments as well. But yeah, up here is the the cockpit, so you just right click on that, it goes dark, and you can float around. Pretty cool. Has a little window so you can see where you're going. Right now we're just going in circles because uh, I was looking for the tower. I don't. There was a tower around. Oh, it's right there right there I just went off the screen but yeah pretty cool for some reason you just spawn out here every time when you shift, shift click off but yeah pretty cool this is the cockpit area it has a bed up here um and if we go down here it has a bunch of floaters I mean this thing is so heavy that these floater blocks which help it float it needs so many much of them so we'll go underwater to show you this layer is full of floaters and the layer right above it is also full of floaters, so it needs two layers of like needs probably two two hundred and fifty floaters. I'm I'm guessing I I don't know. It needs a lot. It's crazy. And those floaters are pretty hard to make because it requires one uh, one uh, oak wood and uh, one wool, so it's pretty uh, lengthy process. But yeah, we have our enchantment table with the full enchanting station pretty pretty awesome full enchanting station we have chests furnaces uh, potion racks uh, the crafting table I mean we have everything you'll, you'll ever need right here and another idea I had was since we have that light bridges mod what we're gonna do is when we find a um, when we find a good good spot of land we're gonna make a base and we're gonna put a um, um, do, 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 do. We're going to put a light bridge on one side, maybe like right here, and the other side. And then what we're going to do is we're going to have a lever. Uh, no, we're just going to make probably just a little tiny short bridge. 
but we're just put a lever like right here you turn the lever on and it creates that little bridge so you can get off the ship it's, it'll be pretty cool pretty nice um, since we have that we might as well use it but yeah guys this is the the boat that I'm thinking of building in the mod of survival pretty cool but it's gonna take a long time to build so um yeah just would just uh, leave a comment if you if you think this would be a good idea to build I think it's nice it's pretty pretty nice it's a pretty nice uh, nice little ship I might make it actually a lot bigger because this is, is kind of small kind of cramped but uh, it, it does it does it uh, does its job so yeah just thought I'd show you guys that so let's go back to the uh, modded survival okay guys we're back on the modded survival world um, Let's see, how do we want to make our ship? We're going to keep this right here. This is going to be our dock because um, we have our um, mine down there. And we I don't know, we might come back here sometime. So i got to remember these coordinates because we might just build a little monument or, or something. You know, towards the end, maybe. Or towards the middle or anywhere in between. Um, Yeah. So we might we might come back here because it is a pretty nice island. But uh, yeah, let's 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 start um start building our little uh, and the reason I have this gap right here is so uh the mobs don't follow me on here. Which is pretty nice. Um let's let's, let's make some torches so we can light up this place like this and let's see how how wide do we want to make it this is going to be the interior so the bottom layer of the of the ship eventually but right now it's just going to be our only layer of the ship because uh, our ship's not that big so here's what I'm going to do I'm going to put uh, chests right here on the outer edges oh yep that one was the one that had the stuff in it it had the stuff. Oh, I threw it. There we go. Oh, no. There we go. Got it that time. Okay, shifty 64. Shifty 4, because I was shifting, shift clicking it in a 64 stack. So it was shifty 4. That's that's what it. Wow. I don't, I don't really talk much, I guess. I'm still learning English. Okay, um. Yeah, that looks pretty nice. Let's let's put some like a little divider like thing right there to divide between the next chests. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, I forgot about that. Um it looks like a double chest now, but as soon as you shift click, it turns into two individual chests. So we might not want to do that. We I think I think what we're going to do is get some trap chests later on and just put them like that and then just build up a, a room of chests like that so that's probably what we're going to end up doing my inventory is so full okay um yeah it seems like a pretty good plan so let's let's build this just a little bit a uh, little bit longer no actually five by five five by five is good on the inside Okay, um, so there's the start of it. Let's make a little bit of a, okay, let's make like a window like right here. And we'll put glass in it eventually. But since this is eventually going to be the bottom layer of our boat, let's make it like this. Okay, like that. And then there's the entrance. And go up like that, like that. That's pretty cool, pretty nice. Um, I do like the cockpit on the other ship, though. It's really nice to be able to see exactly what you're doing. So, yeah, that's pretty nice. Let's see if it floats. I really hope it's going to float right. Um, yeah. I was I was worried if it was gonna fall in the water one more block. Cause I don't know how heavy it has to be. So let's just make that very tiny little cockpit window. Um 
and I think I want it three tall. Three tall. So what we're gonna do is go up like this. Okay. Okay. I'm trying to put it on the chest. Let me. There you go. There you go. Okay. Um. Let's make it like this for now. This is version 1, 1.0 1 of our boat. So, I make it like that. Um, okay. And let's make this across. Then we can probably just go down and finish it up. There you go. So that's our boat. It's not as spacious as you'd like it. Okay, let's do something with this guy. Um, put those right there. And then let's put them on the outside as well. Along with ones on the top. And we can turn these right there into planks. So we can pick that up. And we pick that up and Right now we only want one furnace, so I don't, because I want to place it in the middle somewhere, but since that's there, we really can't do that. So let's just place it over there on the side for now and put the, oh, and that's the other thing I did. I got, I made an ore processing upgrade, which uh, turned, we had, uh, uh, we had eight iron, didn't we? Oh, somehow it screwed up. Okay. But it just doubled our iron output. That's the only one it doubled. So pretty nice though. If we get gold or iron, we can double it. But as you can see, it only goes 255 times. And then it breaks and then it goes back to just using one uh, iron ore for one iron. Okay, so this is our boat. Let's look at the outside. Yeah, it's it's pretty nice, I guess. It's It's kind of kind of nice right now for a simple very very simple boat um what what uh, okay let's let's um let's go mining let's go mining because we need a bunch more uh, we need some diamond because I wanted to take that um, take one of these towers but I, I just can't yet we need diamond and we need string so let's use that one, okay. This one, and we're gonna put everything we don't need, like clay. We don't need copper ingots to take down there, or iron ingots, or tin ingots, or flint, or arrows, or bones, or rotten flesh. Oh, we need food, we need that. Gunpowder can go in there. Um, let's just put everything in there and then take out what we don't need, or what we need. There we go. So, might want to take out the ore blocks just in case we get some more. Um, so we have a spot for them. Then, we won't need an axe down there. Uh, no, we might. I don't know. I'm not entirely sure. But we might want to take a crafting table with us. And, yeah, I think that's, that's all we're going to need. Yeah, torches. So let's make some more torches. Because you, you can never, never have too many torches. So let's make about 10. Put those down. Oh, we don't need the fence. We don't need that. Okay, everything else I think we need. So let's go to the, go down here to the cave and let's, let's go mine. Maybe, maybe for the last time on this island. Maybe, maybe then we'll move to a different island. I don't know. I wanna, I wanna conquer this entire area, all the, um, all the towers and everything, and then we'll move. So we need this coal. So let's mine up all this coal. I thought it was gonna be a small vein, but it's uh, going forever. There we go. I think we found the end. Okay. Oh nope, we didn't. Nope, oh, we did. Okay, 
Almost done. Almost got it. Please be no more. Okay, there we go. Cool. Um, then we. I want to put a torch down there so nothing spawns and creeps up on us. Yes, I'm talking about creepers. Don't like them. Unless you play Skyden, then they're just awesome because they blow up the other, the other uh, things, the other uh, bad creature, whatever they're called, zombies and skeletons and what, what not. Um, I kind of don't want to take this down and take it out until we have a fortune pickaxe, because then we can get a lot more. And that one can't be taken out by bronze. I'll take out this granite sometime um yeah let's let's make a there's iron right there let's take that go down like this we didn't even go down this hole i guess we're not done we're gonna, probably going to be spending a bunch more episodes on this uh this cave because it's just so huge okay i want to get down to where we were that one time. Okay, here we go. Here's some some ore. I'm just gonna mine everything I see, except for coal. Unless we really need it. Seeing as I don't think we really need it right now. I'm not gonna mine it. Okay. I really don't know where I'm going. Ooh, we must have been here before. Um I don't think we found any diamond yet, which I'm kind of disappointed about because we, we we had a pretty good haul except for diamond. So that's kind of disappointing. Um, there we go. Yep, we need that coal. Ran out of torches. Oh, we got enough. We're gonna last a really long time. Doesn't look like any diamond back there, but let's get this copper because it's nice to have. If anything, we can just uh, make some nice, some you know, copper blocks and make a vault or something out of it. Oh wow! Stumbled into another part of it. It's um whatever that one one is, muradite. It's hard to memori memorize all the all the ores and names because I've played so many mods over the years, and a lot of them overlap. Like a lot of them have bronze, a lot of them have copper, a lot of them have tin. Oh, whoa, whoa, uranium! Not many have uranium and plutonium though. This is kind of, and I've never seen one a mod that had uh, uranium or plutonium that actually damage you while you're near them I, that's just crazy I mean it makes more sense than the other ones where you just hey there's uranium let's let's just mine it up and it doesn't even hurt us at all but we can make nukes out of it yeah that's not realistic so it's pretty cool that they can they can damage you and it's pretty nice but uh, I don't know if we're gonna really use it that much in this uh, survival because it's mostly just for blowing up stuff yeah. Might do it as like a special episode or something if we meet meet like a subscriber milestone or something. Might just use use it make makes oh yes 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 I took, just disregard what I was saying. I I don't even know what I was talking about. I was just oh yeah diamonds diamonds di oh titanium. This is like the best. This is Christmas right now. This is Christmas. Sunstone, suns. Oh my God! This is just Christmas. I love this place. This this place is just freaking awesome. Oh my God! Let's get this sunstone first. I like sunstone the best because it's really nice to decorate with. So let's take that. Yeah. I can't believe we just found titanium. That that stuff is really hard to find. It's probably. The biggest vein I ever found was probably like four. So this is probably one block. Yeah, one block. That that tells you how rare it is. It's extremely rare, but it's really, really, really awesome. So we definitely want to dig that out. I don't think it can be 
dug out with anything but diamond, so. Yeah. So we're gonna make need to make a diamond pickaxe, but now we have we have diamond, and if we have five, we can make ourselves a enchantment table. Get that fortune and uh, you know. You know, just just get it. Okay. Come on, please, please be more than four. No! It's only four. There's only four. I didn't realize there was lava right there. That would have been bad if it fell in. But that's just awesome. Found sunstone, found diamond, found titanium. Found whatever this or 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 chalcum. However, I'm probably pronouncing that like entirely wrong. Probably. Okay. Let's take that up. Ooh! Ooh, we got uh, plutonium, uranium, something over here. Ooh, it's, it's over there. Okay. It's, uh, fortune affects redstone, does it? Does it? Does it? I'm not sure if it does. I think it only affects things that usually drop one. But quartz doesn't drop one, and it affects quartz. It might affect redstone, so we'll wait. Since we got diamonds now. Let's, let's work our way over here. Um, we need, we need more. More torches. More torches. Yeah, there's another, this is mining 2.0. That's what I'm going to call this episode. Ooh, we got gold. We can upgrade our furnace, it looks like. Oh, we got lots of gold. We can, yeah, we are, we'll totally be able to upgrade our furnace. Oh, oh, poison, poison, poison. Is the poison going away? Yes, okay. I don't like it. I don't like it. Okay. So let's take out these. This tin and this muradite. Let's just go into another cave. Again. Let's just keep going into different caves. One after another. Not even trying. And we just stumble into them. This is just crazy. Usually this never happens to me. This is just nuts. Okay. Ooh. 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 Did we... F I don't think we found any of this yet. This, um... What is this called? Give me a second. Uh, Torite. Yes, Torite. Pretty good. It's kind of like Miradite. In the amount of uses, if I remember correctly, from my, uh... Mod review. Which I... I will be doing more mod reviews if anybody anybody's interested. If you have an idea for a mod review, please just uh, send me one. I think we're stuck on a block somehow. Um, what is going on? Okay. Um, <laughs> just standing here, just shaking. A guy must be really cold. He's just like shivering. Okay. This is weird. Titanium there. Nice. Ah, why are we stuck? I don't think there's a way out. Okay, I'm gonna have to cheat. I'm sorry, guys. There you go. Sorry, I had to cheat. I don't know what happened, but we were not allowed out of there. It didn't want us to get out, so that was weird. It's just very strange. Very strange. <gasps> Holy crap! This is that hole that was at the very beginning. No way! We just, like, went in a complete circle. Probably the weirdest circle in the entire world, but it was a circle. Okay, we got... Lapis over here. We got Miradite. This episode's almost over. Wow. Wow. Can't believe we went in a complete circle. Oh man, there's, there's so much ore over here. I love these bronze pickaxes though. So many uses. It's not too extremely fast though, so it's pretty balanced in my opinion. Because it's only about as strong as iron. It's just because iron was it's kind of dorky when you think about it. I mean, you spend all this time to get iron, yet it only has 250 uses, only a little bit more than 
stone. And then all of a sudden you got a big jump to 1500 with diamond. That's just kind of weird. <gasps> There's more titanium. There's just titanium all over the place. I've never s seen this much, like this close together. This is just crazy. And they're probably all one blocks, I bet you. Um, there you go. Yeah, that one's one block. And wasn't there one over here somewhere? Okay, that block is like stuck there. There was. Uh, I don't know where I'm going. Oh, up here. Yeah. Okay, let's mine out this this tin. Ooh, there's some of this stuff. Man, there's just ore everywhere. Man. Okay. Let's, um... Ooh! Ooh! What is it? Ah, stupid uranium. I don't think poison can kill you. I'm pretty sure it can't kill you. Not entirely positive on that. But we're gonna test it out. So let's take out that redstone. It's gotta be somewhere over here. Yep, poison can't kill you. So now we can just search for it. Well, if we find plutonium, that that stuff will kill you because withering can kill you. Which is kind of annoying. Okay, not finding any. Okay, so it must be like directly underneath this. There's one block. Huh. Where the heck is the uranium at? Oh, so it's this way. Like watching the counter at, at the same time, the, the poison thing, to see if I'm getting close. Okay, it's starting to go away. It's going away. It's like right here. I don't even know where it's at. Okay. So it only stays when we're on this block. And that block? That one, it goes away. That one, it goes away. Hmm. So it must be like directly underneath this somehow. No? Because now it's gone. Oh! I know where it is probably. Is it directly above it? I'm like digging out this entire cave trying to find this one. There's Torite. Thing of freaking uranium. Okay, where is he? Where is it at? Okay, if we move closer over here. Or if we go to that side. Okay, looks like we're getting closer. Still there. Still there. Man, this, is, this is like a treasure hunt. Uranium treasure hunt. Okay, not over there. It's over here, though. Over here. Still there. Still there. Okay. Still there, still there. Where the heck is it at? I mean, seriously. Okay, so it must be above. It has to be. Because as soon as you go, oh, there it is, there it is. I was gonna say as soon as you go down one. Okay, there we go. 
Man, look how much stone we just took out for that one stupid piece of uranium. That's just crazy. Okay. Okay, let's let's mine up this this gold and call it a day. Well, actually, let's mine up this. And then the gold and then call it a day. Okay, we need get that sand away. Okay, copper. Okay, and gold. Ooh, this was an eight one, which means we'll have 16 gold out of this right now. So we'd actually make another furnace if we wanted to, if we really wanted to, but I, I think we're going to stick with one because once we get to the pretty high, uh, like the diamond furnace and stuff, it's going to require so many so much diamonds and stuff that um, it's really going to be a hassle to keep two of them um, upgraded at the same time. Okay. I mean, what else could gold be used for except for like golden apples? And, co and golden carrots. I don't think there's really much. Because it really sucks as tools and armor. Ooh, is that another part? I just seen if there's diamond. Maybe. Uh, maybe not. Okay. Meridite. Okay, let's head back. There's titanium. Head back to the surface, which was this way. And um, finish our day of, of, uh, of mining. Man, we're getting so much mirrodite. We might be... Oh, 20. Yeah, we're going to be able to make mirrodite, uh, mirrodite armor. So we might go after that uh, tower with mirrodite armor. I'm not entirely sure how how uh, good it is. Like, I know how many uses it has, but I'm not sure how, how actually good it is. So, you know, we'll find out. I haven't seen any mobs yet. That's kind of interesting. I've heard them, but I haven't seen them. So, yeah, I'm pretty yeah, difficulties on hard, but have not seen one single mob. Oh crap. As I said that, they're probably going to spawn like right right up here. I just know it. So, I'm going to make a crap ton of torches. Okay, there we go. Okay. Um, should I bother getting this? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna bother. There we go. And then we have some ore chalcum over here. If we can get to it. I almost fell in the lava. I don't know if you guys saw that, but I almost fell in the lava. That's pretty crazy. Wow, that stuff gives a lot of XP. I wasn't even looking at the XP. So, even if we don't use that, we want it for the XP. Wow, I didn't know that. It gives quite a bit. Stupid pop-up thing on my computer telling me I need to get updates. Holy crap! Well, that was plutonium. Hmm. Oh, well, we're back on the surface. And that's why we have keep inventory on. Because uh, that's just... There's no warning at all. It's just, boom, you're dead. Okay. So let's put everything away. See our... See what we got in our stash. Let's take out the, that, though. And, yeah. Okay, guys. I will, um... I'll smelt this off camera, smelt all these these ores and stuff, because that's kind of boring. Um, and then yeah, we'll we'll uh, we'll probably go mining in the next episode, but we'll probably make some armor and try to take out that tower or that castle. I don't know whichever one. I think I think the tower would be better because it had more loot, but 
I kind of want to check out the castle. So, I don't know. We'll see. But, anyways, guys, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please leave a like. If you want to see more of the mod of survival with boats, um, then uh, please subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.